Okay. The first initial part is um, the conversation had already started, so I didn't get it caught at the beginning. So uh, now this is in reference to I do all the yard work. So I'm questioning him at this point why he doesn't ever do any yard work. Okay. Okay. You do at another house. Months at another house. Yeah, it's a different thing. If I'm working in the sun outside all day long, you would why would I want to do it on the weekend? You would tell the people there you're not mowing the lawn. Bro, I just helped you cut down would, trees not too long you ago. You would tell the people there you're living with you're not mowing the lawn. Yes, like I'm telling you now. Okay, that's that's why you get a wind up here because no one's going to accept that anywhere else. Not LeBron and not Anthony Davis. I've done it before. Yeah, I. Uh, that does. Okay. But yeah. I ain't never sat there and let it's part of the grown ass people keep sitting around in dirt. And they made that dirt. What about, I'm talking about your personal trash, bro. That's it. Okay. okay. Y'all sit here and act like y'all gotta make Amber do it when she's been in school. This one makes trash all day long with grandma. All day and long. And then, you know, the second Amber walks through the door from school, well, what, Amber gets the trash. Or if you, know, you guys are so aggravated or whatever, you don't have to worry about it. I'm aggravated because if I have to hear Aaron's mouth, you that's what makes me mad. You don't have to. I do. She's going to tell me what you say to you her. You could always leave her, break up. I don't know. You don't have to. You could always die. You know, what, what does that mean? You hear that? Yeah. You're talking about stuff that's absurd, right? Yeah. You don't and we thought, you know, this was just uh, if she starts complaining about y'all not listening to her, what about her listening to me? She does. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's, that's hilarious. That's just hilarious. You do listen to me. She just don't pay attention to me. It's only a... Because I hear everything she tells me that you're saying to me. Yeah. All of it's justified. Anything I tell her is justified. Yeah. What have I told her that's not justified? Silence. See, this is the thing. This is I knew. Just talk see, to I knew. Talk. See, if we do everything, see, it's like you guys are the bosses. And if we say one little word back, like, no, we don't really need to do that, this is what happens. Turns into a big blow up. No, bro, don't you know what you're yeah, no, it's because you guys want us to be your servants and do what you say when you say it. So part of the discussion. That's the, and we're just not doing that. This is why something you said. No, she's coming in here and yelling at her and telling her. That's because she's tired. No, you don't understand. Not the you do not understand. She is tired of Angel just sitting here all day not doing what anything. What about me? Tired of stuff she does around here. How about all kinds of stuff? What about Does Aaron you to pick up behind yourself? What about the things I'm tired does Aaron of? Aaron ever, has ever, Aaron ever told you to pick up anything behind yourself? So this does not pertain to you. Yes, it does. Has she told you to pick up behind you? my sister. That's your sister. So you don't care if your sister just messes up everything. I don't want want her coming in here barking orders. That's not the way it works. But when she's asked multiple times, bruh, is she listening? She might as well do it. No more observant. No. That's what you just said. She might as well come in here and do it. No. Why should she pick up behind the what, what, what about like stuff like the cat litter box? How, how am I I call, them, them No, it's not their them. responsibility. It's because I dumped it already. What, what, who, who brought, brought the, the cat? cat who brought the cat? Ah! Who brought the cat? No, watch your mouth to me. Who brought the cat? I'm already here. Don't do it. Who brought the cat in here? Don't. Who brought the cat in? That's how he yells at Angel. Okay, yeah. so, so the people that brought the cats in here should be responsible for the cat litter box. And I've been in the litter box many times. Aaron had cleaned the cat litter to him. 
She's never. These two, not on these two don't even clean them every time. The cops are pooping all over the place. So you don't even know I about trust it. Sister, what happened to the kidney box no. that was behind the chair? It's been proven. Ask your sister no. why that one in the bedroom is all full. If it's full, why is it her good? responsibilities? Why is it her responsibility? Because when she took that other one in that no. bedroom back there, it became no. her responsibility. No, she did not bring and the cat in it. the house. I cleaned it twice. Who brought the cat? Who brought the cat in the house? Probably because Amber cleaned it. Probably once, because I told her to. Famous My dad. I took care of that one that was in here. Who brought the cat? Well, in the house? Well, the well, 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 the well, the cats in the house? They are the ones responsible. I tried to argue. Right. I tried to tell people. If that's the way the responsibility works, y'all make sure y'all clean up everything behind yourself. Yeah, and you guys too. Today. You got. Today. Well, you're some kind of boss? Fight me over. Not my you're boss. You're not my boss. You ain't nobody's boss. Neither are you. Of course. So that's why we so ask. Stop barking orders. We ask. We don't bark. You ask. Hey, Amber, come here. Chris is asking Amber to come out. Oh, okay. Listen to this part. This is really intriguing. Okay. Before I say anything, your aunt has asked repeatedly, nicely, hasn't she? Speak up, because they can't hear you in here. Turn that off. No, come in here, Amber. Come on, come on. Yeah, I'm glad you're actually, actually, to be honest with you, Amber is a child. She don't need to be a part of this. She can go to her room and this discussion is over. Her to go, I asked her to come she out. She is a talk. child. You got your witness. I got mine. Amber doesn't have to sit there and do anything. Exactly, she don't. She's doing it out of fear. No, she's not. Oh, really? Amber, you scared me? When I do what? Lose my shit, right? I always Amber, I lose my shit. Amber, come here. Come here. At least about once a month. Amber, Amber, come here. Your uncle talking to you. Um, do you like uh, taking their trash out of the room? Huh? Huh? She says she don't mind. She's lying. No, she doesn't. She does not like doing that. She's doing. She she's saying that out of fear. Of she's saying that out of fear. She doesn't want repercussions <laughs> later. <laughs> she don't want to get yelled at and harassed later over. Amber. How often do I yell at you, Amber? When is the only time I raise my voice at you? Because of what? Because you're being hard-headed. You're not listening to your aunt. You're not doing what your aunt told you to do. When who, to who are you to yell? Yeah, right now you can't do nothing about your room. Yeah, but we who are you to argue? I asked and begged you for how long? Before I raise my voice, you shouldn't raise your voice at all for her. This is ridiculous, ain't for it? Home. Yeah, yeah. Now look, big and please. Who is she? Child who is she? To to who is she to you? She's not your concern. She's the woman that I love, niece. And. And when Aaron is fed up with talking and and asking nice, it's not your place. It's my it. place no, to make sure not. that her voice is heard because that's the lady no, it's I not. love. That's the woman no. I care about. No, it's not your place. And if I want my peace, I don't need to hear her always having to ask and beg people to do stuff. I'm the one that bark orders. Because I'm going to sit down here, Aaron, tell me asking you. To clean up behind yourself. Aaron is messy. Oh, fuck. Actually, Aaron, let me get up this room all week long. Why does it have to be cleaned up? Why can't it be cup clean? Because <laughs> she works, I work. No. And we're tired. Okay. Aaron's not in the best shape to be running bags up and down flights <laughs> of steps or 
one of the well, maybe she should get in shape. Maybe you should too. I try. Okay then. So she's trying. She's got a gym membership. She's trying. Elliot, it's a, you're just using that as an excuse. No, I'm just trying to let you understand. Do you believe I, this is only about I half over? Oh. Yeah. I, let me bring this is this crazy, up. ain't it? When we yeah. Were down yeah. There, down there, uh, living. What about all the times where Aaron just threw trash out of her car alongside the house and stuff like that, and we looked trashy? So the only way we didn't have to look trashy is I had to go pick up after her. What about all that? See that's work. see that's not this conversation is together. over. You have to work together to make, achieve a fucking goal. Are you dumb enough not to know that? This is what mom allows in the house. Work together. Yeah. Never work to fuck together. They're always being stupid about everything. Mom just wanted to sit and we're not, not do it. Thought we shouldn't do nothing about, about this. Just sit and wait. Yeah. Everybody. That's the way she was yeah. acting around Derwin 22 years ago. Same yeah, exact right. thing. You can know it's just going to blow here? over. Who owns the house? Again. Rosemary. See, listen to this. And the co-owner. Co-owner. That's his title. Co. He has a name. The co-owner. Yeah. He has a name. I'm, ex I'm, 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 I'm putting down exactly who's going to paperwork. The co-owner and Rosemary. He doesn't want to accept that I'm That's the co-owner. Yeah. Yeah. Like. yeah. That that co owner oh, that co owner sure did help you out. We done went, we went far left on the on the top of the subject. The top of the subject is Angel. How many times a day does Aaron ask you to help do something around here? Before all of this kitchen yeah, is up. Okay, a Angel. How many times have you asked Aaron to do stuff? I don't because exactly. I don't want to get my head snapped off. Because she's afraid no, of this because sister. Because she doesn't have the authority to do that. No, that's not what she just said, Dave. I don't care what she said. That's what you're interpreting she what she said. She said she doesn't want to get her head snapped off. Aaron doesn't have Aaron authority. Aaron wouldn't chew her head off. That's the whole point. Aaron world. doesn't have authority in the house as much as what she likes to think. She doesn't. I just get so tired of all this. Of you. I don't. You can't get nobody to do nothing. I do have authority. I just don't use it. And I'm about to use it. So yeah. you're to yourself, yeah. No. Because yeah. what? Yeah, get her all mad. 76 head. years old. Come in here and clean up the entire kitchen yeah. by herself. This house, we wouldn't even be in this house if it wasn't for me. Yeah, because you used the name to sign some paperwork. Co owner. Yeah, I had to exactly. have good credit. I had to be responsible. I had to be That's responsible. The whole and point. Have you credit. sit out here and you don't even mingle with everybody in the house no more. Oh, you know. stop. Yeah, so you don't right. know what goes on in this house with this one. <laughs> the reason why Aaron's so mad. I know, the, I know a long history of Aaron. I know the history. I don't need to sit in and, every day history. and know but every still, detail. When she shows up, every time she showed up, that one got lazier and lazier. Um, every time you don't come around, me. every time, no, no, she follows you by example. That girl is more like you than you think she is. Exactly. Have you not realized that? She follows everybody's example. Yeah. No, she, her bellies. Yes, she no, does. She steals from me. But she, that doesn't she snaps mean she, my head off. Yeah, she not, has no respect. Like it, like it. She has basically no I'm respect really for me or nothing. You came up your child. I have, you you have to see what he does. Nothing. Yeah. Story behind it. I don't want to know the whole story, but you had to it for a reason. It up in my there was a reason that you Elliot, had to do it. Elliot, do we have I know this. We have to sit here and hear you. You don't know the story. You know Get out. Uh, Elliot. Put your hands on me. That's what I was saying. No. Put your hands on me. I don't know the story, man. I do, actually, Angel, because Aaron no, tells stop. me everything. Stop. Come on, Angel. Angel, come on. Come on. But you have come to on. be built with your child. You come on. The angel. Angel. This is what mom allows. Come on. That's that's what you've been allowing the past twenty two years that I've been talking about, David. Come on, come on. That's why I won't shut up. Right there. I know about them forcing you to come put the on, birth control in. I know about them. Yeah, but you're well, well I'll talk about that hey, in a, a little bit. Don't listen to yeah. him. Not part of the equation. He's just somebody from the outside listening. 
Yeah, y'all can be. Yeah, Amber. I don't know unless Aaron has a problem with it. Does Aaron have a problem with this? We go about? outside and the dude follows us outside. Yeah. Yeah. Whole court process you'd have to go through. Well, Aaron's not that's because Aaron was sitting there crying and mad when she came to the Yeah, because she because she don't like to be told anything. She don't like that. She wants to rule the house and do everything. No, she don't. Go, go sit in the car. Call, call Angel and or Eric. Go sit in the car. Go sit in the car. That's where you fail at as a big brother, man. No. You fail at like that. Uh, this has got to, this has got to stop, Elliot. This is nuts. So me get out. I would like you to look, to get out. Yeah. Go file a thirty day notice. Okay. Go to court. Get me out. You, you have to be like that, don't you? You made me this way. No, I didn't. He blames no, me. Yeah. No, you should have responsibility. You should be responsible anyway, and have your own place. You should have your own place. You should. Then why aren't you responsible now and have your own place now? Because I chose to stay here and help your mom. <laughs> He's helping mom by uh, mom paying his phone bill. <laughs> Well, you abandoned the utilities. Who took them over? <laughs> you know, mom's been paying his phone bill for a while. Yeah. 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 While I'm paying mom's phone bill. Right? Yeah. No. That's what I overheard you and your mama talking about. Uh, call, uh, where's your phone? Okay. Where? Call grandma and see what she wants us to do. This is ridiculous. It is. Yeah. We're, what are we supposed to? Every time we don't listen to you guys, we got blown up in the face, and this turns into this. No. Yes. This is if what it Angel, ends up. If, if this Angel, was you. If Angel would have just been an adult. No. Aaron doesn't have, have authority. For own daughter, it would have been. No. It wouldn't have been any. No. If Aaron was responsible, she'd have her own place. And not have if to you were responsible, up. you would have had your own place. This is back to high point. Oh my goodness. Right? We're done. We're done. Hey, come on back here. Let's go ahead and start packing up now. He's threatening to take Amber and all this, that, and the third. Let's what? Pack up our no. Stuff and we're gonna go. Come on. Come on back here. We're packing up today. We'll leave him here like he wants. What, what is he going to do? I'm sorry. I don't listen to you no more. That's basically it. Yeah, yeah. Now, I will say that um, from um, a few days before this, I actually have another video All right. where he's just harassing me. Yeah. You want to listen to that? Yeah, yeah. Is that I'm having a one-on-one -on -one with your brother. You do that. Oh, come on. Not. Now, this conversation starts shortly after he basically pointed his finger at her and said, shut your mouth. Oh, okay. Now, this is basically where the conversation comes into uh, right after that. But you, you're, you can't say that. When me and him's having a conversation, What's the Elliot, difference? if I if I have it, if I if I told your sister to point it at her and shut up while you're in the I same tell room, my sister that. if I did that, what would you do? Look at you like you just being a big fool because she's about to hurt you. My sister fight dudes. More or less, you're gonna get a verbal beat down. So you she'll talk. She'll say something before I have to say something. So she knows how to defend herself. Yeah. So you have the right to tell, point her your finger at her and tell her to shut up. I didn't say shut up. I well, said shut your mouth. Okay. That's yeah. I'm saying shut up. You have the right to do that. 
No, I don't have the right to then, object. Then don't but do I'm it. explaining myself of why I did then that, don't. which is I don't like it because every time she jumps in, it becomes the two of y'all versus one. Well, then just don't have a conversation because you but don't have a conversation but with you. you. Okay, don't point now, your is finger. Is that not rude of her to just interject? If it's rude, then don't. Do the if it's rude, about. then That's just different. don't you listen. Know what? Freedom, freedom of speech. I can say whatever I want to say. <laughs> so I can say whatever I want to say. You can say whatever you want to say. She can say whatever she wants to say. It's a free country, freedom of speech. Who, but who, she ain't got to shut her mouth. What about respect? That's right. You see here that all over the place. Yeah. Where? You get to stay here. Uh, you get. Uh, thanks to her yeah. mom. Thanks to her mom. Okay. That's what I was told. Oh, really? Really? So I don't. I didn't count in the whole thing. Nobody said anything other than you only sign the paperwork as long as Aaron gets out when your mother passes away and the kids. That's what was told to me. Yeah, okay. that's what I said initially. What's but you're still. I didn't have no, me and you already had this conversation. If you was a co-signer or co-owner. Remember that conversation? Yeah. Okay. I was going based off of a co-signer. And trust me, I looked at you real ungodly for that. Because why would somebody that's read it in my eyes? Why would you co-sign on something and then put a stipulation saying, I'm not going to co-sign it unless the sister and the kids get out of the house when you pass away. That's well, kind of well. First of all, I never said sister and the kids. Well, the kids would have to go Aaron, I, anyway. I, I in fact, can't. she's the guardian of them. Okay, that. So that's, that's yeah, but them together, they, they go now. The, the problem is, I can't live with Aaron. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Well, you, you realize that both of us think completely different. We have way too different ways of thinking and belief systems. Actually, you'll be amazed. That you sat down and talked to your sister instead of can't, thumbed your nose at her. Can't. She thumbs her nose on me. Actually, she you do it. Every time I want to say something to you, she tells me to stop. She loves you dearly. Well, Every time we get to these little debates, she tells me not to do it because of how she's your mindset gotta, is. She's got to go. I don't want to be responsible to holding you back. So if you're going with her. Your mindset is that everybody's wrong and you're right. That's how I preview. That's, that's how I preview. That's how everybody does. Everybody that's thinks. How you come off, David. That's how everybody thinks. Everybody thinks they're right and, every, and you're wrong if you disagree. <laughs> Am I wrong about that? Man. <laughs> I can't live with Aaron either. Nobody can. So would you say that um, I'm a kind of a just an in general, not really a good person? It's your personality, your mannerisms, and do you realize? You listen, you don't listen to what people tell you. Unless you have previous knowledge of it, and then you still doubt what people say. So you put yourself higher than, in my eyes, that makes you look like you put yourself on a higher standards than everybody else, or a higher moral but you, morale. But you don't ever do that. I'm elegant. So? <laughs> I've, never looked, I've never looked down at anybody. At anybody. Never. You do look down on me. I talk a lot of trash to you, but I don't. I do you look down on me? Do you do you recognize that I'm part owner of this house? Yes, I do. You don't act like it. How should I act? Because you say am I you're my saying drawers as in your me. Space? No. Am I leaving my shoes in your space? Sort of. Spit at you every time. Where, where is my shoes at? Yeah. Your Elliot. My shoes stay back there. In you room. said that. You said that the reason why you're here, it's all responsible because of her mom. So that's disrespecting me because I'm part it's of the not whole. disrespecting you because, in fact, I did not know the extent of where your responsibilities lie. So can all you. All I knew was you was a co signer. 
That's what you believed. No, that's what was told to Who me. Who told you that? I'm not telling you, but that's what was told. Well, they told you wrong. And now I was told you was you co-signed. You, and the stipulations you, were when your mother died, Aaron and the kids and me had to yeah. get out. Um, well, first of all, find one of my brothers and sisters, little keeper. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Oh, no. So they're all the I same. You. So they're all the well, same as me. I was told you had nowhere else to go until High Point. Now, to your debacle, they took you in. Okay. Is that what happened also? Yeah, way back when. Okay. But I'm saying, <laughs> if, but still, hold on, hold on. There was no stipulations on it. Was it? Elliot. Was it? That doesn't mean I'm obliged to. To keep people no, the rest of their life. Because you are who you are. But what no. I'm saying is, the way you stand above people and throw it in, in their face that you have this, 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 and this power, that's what's going to get you, bro. That's what people see. Yeah, that's pretty much the end of that. Yeah. But, um, see, like in your case, I uh, know it's like it's not Derwin I'm aggravated with, it's mom. You would expect it out of Derwin, but not out of mom. Yeah, this is why I won't shut up about anything, because she allows this to continue and go on. Well, uh, here at this house, I'm ending all that, yeah. and um, I'm pretty much, I don't, I highly doubt I'll have much to do with mom after this yeah i don't know if i will or not but i offered mom you believe mom turned this down yeah i offered yeah. i offered to keep her here um bill free responsible free completely taken care of the rest of her life yeah the only problem is the only two things. First of all, Aaron wouldn't be allowed on the property. Yeah. And two, I'd have to control her money. Yeah. Well, I said that because you know that if I didn't do that, mom, I would be sitting here taking care of mom, but she'd be through a back door just giving Aaron weed money. Yeah. Exactly. That's what am I supposed to do? Well, yeah. And then, mm -hmm. like, if you let Aaron come on the property, you know the baggage that Aaron has? Do you know the package that she contains? Ugh. She's, I mean, there's been how many different people come in and out of the, our houses from where we were in High Point and up here? Yeah. But you know, at one time down there in High Point, I I can't remember exactly, but I think it was like five people was like staying in her room at once. Yeah. And so, um, if you allowed Aaron to come on your property, you got to allow everything that comes along with that. Exactly. Everything. And, but, you know, no, mom, and that's why I said, I told mom, I said, well, if I don't control your finances, can you promise me that you won't make one transaction to Aaron? And she said, no, I can't promise that. Mm. So, <laughs> what can you do? Hmm. Well, Aaron and Elliot's got to go. 
Well, in this case here, yeah. Um, mom, mom, mom wants to be with Aaron. Yeah. Or whatever, but that's like. That's got to be a spirit driving that. Yeah. Because. Remember. There ain't, yeah. There's not really any normal. What you would call a normal Christian person. Yeah. That would have anything to do with Aaron. Yeah. Um. So. Mom just. Wants to be with Aaron. She allows this stuff in her house and everything. Yeah. And uh, he has, um, he's talked bad about Sister Mary multiple times. 